Hi there guys, Sam here, welcome to another video. Just to explain a little bit on how I clean my golf bar. Um, so I'll get straight into the video really. So yeah, you join me on a gorgeous Saturday morning. I know we all kind of have to stay inside, but it is lovely today. I've already had my sort of one walk early this morning, um, about 6.30. And it seemed like a good time to do a video like this. Um, it's actually recently, in the last couple of days, I had a subscriber message me and say, it'd be good to know how you actually keep your golf bar clean. Um, I have had comments in the past from you guys and most of the time I just explain it in the comments and give the details there but I figured it was time to do a little bit of a video on that. So first of all if you're not um, familiar with my channel I own a golf bar, I do lots of different content, a bit of fast forward content, Porsche content, VW golf bar content, um, latest stuff coming out, Mark 8 golf bar, cool exciting things that are kind of happening in the future. I try and do videos on the day as well so I'm quite and I'm also quite regular with my uploads as well. Um, but yeah, it does mean an awful amount if you could like, share and subscribe to the channel. It's um, yeah, it's really, really helpful and, and I hope you all are enjoying the channel and thank you all those that have supported it so far. So yeah, straight into the video and I'll leave a link in the description to all the kind of products that I use and so that you can potentially try them yourself. I mean, if you get a chance today, washing a car is probably a good thing. So I'll, I'll try and go through like the process of what I do to actually clean my golf bar. And maybe I'll do some pictures and some screenshots of them as I talk. And I do the same process for our Fiesta ST, which is in a gorgeous molten orange colour. And um, that really does sparkle with this kind of process. The first thing that I do is, you know, it's kind of a bit of basics, really. If your car's dirty, just rinse it down. Um, we've got a pressure washer, just a cartridge pressure washer. You can pay about sort of 70 pounds for that. Um, and yeah, just rinse the car down. Go over it with sort of like... Um, a non-abrasive cloth to kind of get rid of any obvious dirt don't don't rub anything in just try and get rid of the kind of the worst of it all and then sort of rinse all that off before you really sort of start the process and the first thing i use is dodo juice now none of this is sort of like a promotional thing this is just me sort of giving my advice and a big thanks to my friend at my previous work who had a gorgeous m135i um, i got some good advice for him of what to use to clean my car um, you know you've got to be careful things have got to be ph neutral they've got to be precious for your car now this may be a small little bottle but it's actually fully concentrated i've used this a lot of times and i've used it that much <laughs> um it's really really good smells quite strong as well um, but that's like a good initial sort of shampoo to go over the car with and what i normally use is just just like a normal mitt to be honest i mean if you're if you're from the uk i just get them from wilkinson's um got two of them just easily washable nothing complicated um, yeah get them really dirty and then wash them and then use them the next time you wash your car it doesn't have to be expensive and I'll go over the car with that and I essentially just use a two bucket method so one with a little bit of that really doesn't need that much that much think of like double concentrated sort of Ribena or blackcurrant juice or whatever um, it's basically the, <laughs> similar to that and yeah rinse down the car the whole of the car with that top to bottom and um, after every sort of dip that you do in with um, the wash mitt, then put it into another bucket, which is just essentially cold water or hot water, where you can just basically get rid of all the dirt and it just limits scratches and things like that. Once the body is fully clean with this stuff, and this isn't on every single wash, I then use Sonax Tar Remover. Now this is really, really good, particularly on um, actually the Fiesta ST, little black spots of tar, which you just can't physically get off best to use this on a clean car which is why it's good to then do it after this you essentially just spray it on where you see the little black dots um, wait about a minute or two you'll see it doing its stuff and you just wipe it away with a, a different sort of wash mitt or anything like that we actually have quite a few but this is the one that i actually used to dab down the car after all after the whole thing but just something like this microfiber cloth doesn't have to be complicated can be cheap it's just a car at the end of the day as long as you keep this stuff clean that's what will protect your car and your paintwork. But this stuff is really, really good. And um, yeah, stuff that you physically can't get out, this proper burns it off. One thing I would say is wipe it off relatively quickly, at least after sort of five minutes of it being on. Because if you just leave this sort of stuff on, it will sort of damage your paintwork. But really, really good, this to kind of the final finishing touches. The next thing I do, and this is probably the best one, is again, I'm going with Sonax. So it's um, Sonax Extreme Brilliant Shine Detailer. This stuff is brilliant. Um, yeah, the shine I get on my Golf R, the shine we get on the Fiesta ST, this really does it. So this is obviously after the car's been completely clean. 
sort of a little bit dry again separate microfiber cloth a couple of sprays just rub it down doesn't need to be complicated all over the car brings out such a good shine um, and all of this stuff actually also helps protect the paintwork uh, you don't need to do you know ceramic coating all that sort of stuff is obviously fantastic all this stuff definitely does help and um, that's why I use it and yeah and, and then obviously the final touch is going over a microfiber cloth with that really brings out the shine and the whole body is spotless and it, those three little products are absolutely fantastic um, the one thing I should add as well for the wheels and this was something I found quite hard to eventually find the right one um, but I basically go for wonder wheels um, again something from Wilkinson's or wherever you can get it from you know they're everywhere and you've got to get for one that's acid free and again a pH neutral type stuff because you don't want to damage your wheels like I've got diamond cuts on Cadiz wheels on my Golf R been using these it's absolutely perfect you essentially just spray it all on the wheel let it do its stuff it essentially will really get into that uh, um, and yeah just rinse it off wipe it off get a sponge I tend to just sponge the wheels to be honest um, it doesn't need like a cloth I just always feel you know that's going to be the dirtiest part of the car you can get loads of little grit and loads of little brake dust and all sorts it just needs a sort of a good rinse <laughs> and these wonder wheels are really really good for that so yeah those are the products that I use these are kind of the bits that I use for it as well um, thank you to the subscriber who asked for that recently otherwise I wouldn't have done and I wouldn't have actually done this video um, again it's a bit of a community channel ask me some questions and I'll probably do videos on them as well alongside all the other stuff that I kind of have planned for the channel but um, yeah even if you don't have this stuff get out there clean your car today it's a beautiful day I know we're cooped up with quarantine but to be honest you can still very much enjoy your car I'm nearly forgetting actually one of the final things I use is the Auto Soul metal polish um, I kind of spoke about this before my Fiesta ST video in terms of a bit of maintenance and bits like that um, but yeah if you've got a Golf R four exhausts clean them you just need to use just like a dish cloth a little bit of that this on it and it's really really good and it's the final touch that I kind of use on it. it does a good job on the Fiesta ST although I find the exhausts on that just get dirty after one drive whereas on the Golf R they tend to get dirty on the two sort of inner exhausts that's why you can sometimes see ex Golf R's that just look like almost Golf GTI's because their exhausts are all blacked out but it does a really really good job and the more you keep on top of it the easier it is each time so yeah auto cell metal polish is definitely the final sort of cleaning touch on my side so yeah there's my kind of cleaning tips as kind of requested nothing here about the interior this is more exterior type type of thing for the interior normally i just use like stuff like febreze on the seats because it's just cloth seats um, and just kind of clean it with just again just a cloth it doesn't need to be anything special um, antibacterial wipes <laughs> the main thing at this time quite good for the steering wheel every now and then um, but yeah this is what I use to clean my Golf R and what I'd recommend and what I'll do I'll leave a link in the description for where I got all these from they're really not that expensive either um, yeah I mean I think all of this little lot probably comes to less than about 40 pounds to be honest um, and it lasts quite a long time as well but yeah thanks so much for watching enjoy the rest of your Saturday and the rest of your weekend and um, thanks again so much for the support with the channel please like share and subscribe for more content and yeah i've got plenty more content to come particularly during this period as i've said lots more videos to show and if you'd like please check back on some older videos i'll put a link just up there of one of the videos that i think is really really useful um yeah it's just a nice fun drive out in the middle of nowhere um it's not necessarily my most popular video but the last 10 minutes of that really put a smile on my face and it's kind of what kind of makes a hot hatch right really but thanks so much for watching please leave a comment as always and i'll see you again next time cheers guys